Yo, what's good guys, Karik here, welcome back to a brand new video um, This is gonna be a breakdown of this scene um, One of the environments of the last day on earth short film that I made I'm gonna be breaking down this abandoned farmhouse It's uh, pretty simple, I'm gonna just be going over the entire process um, of building such scene So let's get right into it so let's start with the main um, object in the scene, which is the house. The house is a 3D model that I got off of Sketchfab. Um, all the assets that you're seeing around, like the tires, the barrels, everything, was from Polyhaven. Of course, you can find a lot of assets um, on Sketchfab, Terrible Squid, off of the internet. So that's not a big deal either way. Um, so I just scattered some assets around um, the house that made sense as this is an abandoned farmhouse and I've also looked at very um, realistic RL references um, to gather all of my ideas together. As for the ivy and the leaves that I scattered on top of this house, I use an add-on called Botanic. Botanic is a vegetation add-on that lets you add um, basically anything related to trees and vegetation in general. As for the leaves, they're also from Botanic, but I weight painted the leaves on parts that made sense for the leaves to be on. Um, weight painting is also a feature in Botanic, as you can see straight over here. So if I actually click on this, I can paint wherever I want the leaves to be. So if I want the leaves to spawn on top, as you can see, I can literally just paint over there and the leaves would pop up. Now for the actual ground, I also use Botanic. I just grab the plane. Let me actually demonstrate this right now. So basically just grab a plane and with the Botanic add-on, there's a bunch of presets which you can use. I use this, I'm pretty sure. So just hit on OK and now you have a ground with um, grass basically and you can even add animation to it which is pretty nice and easy so it, the ground literally took me like two clicks and it was already done as for the trees again they're from botanic i got the trees and scattered them around manually i didn't use a particle system because i wanted to be precise where, where with where i positioned the trees actually and a very quick tip for this is that this tree by itself could be like let's say 100k to 200k polygons which is a lot and if you actually duplicate this tree it's gonna go up to 400k polygons which is gonna fuck up your um scene in general that's why in that case you're gonna be using instances so you can create an instance by clicking on alt and d instead of shift and d and with that as you can see, I can create as many clones of this tree without the face count cha ever changing. As for the fence, it's also an asset that I got off of Sketchfab. Um, use the same technique, the instancing technique, and just positioned it as a gate, as a fence gate, and somewhere in the background. Now I'll be breaking down the more interesting part of the scene, uh, which is which are the birds. As you can see, there are a bunch of birds. Uh, floating above the house itself. So how I did this is very simple. So the birds are just meshes a very low poly mesh because it's gonna be in the background. If this mesh was high poly, it would make our scene go slower. And they're just shape key in a flying animation. And then duplicated a bunch and offset it. So all the birds were added inside of the collections that I offset it and shape keyed and were used as a particle system as for the particle system i will be going over the settings they're very simple for the number i went with 70 um increase the lifetime to a thousand so that the bears don't suddenly disappear from the scene physics type make sure it's on voids and then if you go down you can increase the acceleration a bit or the airspeed of the bears because bears are pretty fast so i set that to 15 and then one and then if you go down I rendered as collection. If you have a single object, let's say you want to just maybe um, use a single bird as a particle system, you can change that to object and then use the bird itself. 
but since I used multiple birds that are offsetted um, to give the, anim the, the birds some variation in animation, I chose collection. And that's basically it. And now you have birds flying over your scene. As for the cam, I just animated the location, like the position of the cam itself. For the wiggle, I use a camera shakeify add-on. Um, this add-on is for free, so you can go and get it off of the internet. Just search up camera shakeify add-on. And there are a bunch of presets which you can choose from. I chose this and then cranked the value down. If, if I increase the value of the influence, it's gonna be, it's gonna have more, you know, wiggle and which I personally didn't like, so I just cranked it down to 0 0.2 just to give it that subtle type of wiggle. And that's basically it. And of course, I just added depth of field with the house being the actual um, focus of the scene. So if we crank the F-subs down, as you can see, it gets very blurry, except for the house. So I went with a middle ground of like 1.5 to give it a side um, depth of field. And that's basically it. That's the scene. It's uh, pretty simple. You can message me on Discord if you have any questions. And that's it. Goodbye.